There. That's better. All clean. He sees, he sees you, you when you're sleeping. sleeping. He knows, he knows when, you're when you're awake. What are you doing here, Word and Gregory? And what are you talking about? We're talking about Santa Claus. You know there's only a couple more days left of Christmas. So you better be good. I better be good. How about this? You better be scarce. Now go on. I don't care about Christmas. Jingle, Jingle bells. bells. Jingle, Jingle bells. bells. Jingle, all, Jingle the way. all the way. Ah. Word and Gregory. It's few more days until Christmas. Now you can get your reindeer and feed him some reindeer food except for marshmallows, sweet potatoes or anything. Unk. Enough. I don't care about anything of this nonsense. Now shoo. Okay okay but don't say we didn't say we told you so. Dashing, Dashing through, through the, the snow. snow. A laughing, a laughing all, all the way. Ha 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 Oh man. It's finally here. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. You got everything ready? No. Did you bake cookies, feed the reindeers and decorating the Christmas tree? No. Or bake a pie and put... Boys. Would you get it through your thick heads? No one give us a hoot about Christmas. A white Christmas. Oh how perfect. And it's our first one to give together as a family. Is it this exciting? Huh. Oh yeah. About that. And presents. You should get some tippy. Hey. Don't give us the surprise word in Gregory. A surprise? Oh I love surprises. You're the best. It's gonna be super fun. Okay. You did me and you did to Gregory and you did to you, Tippy. Uh. Put that thought I'll be right back. <laughs> They're still open. No. No, we're closing now. Merry Christmas. Wait, wait. I have to make a Christmas. And I have no idea where it is or what to do it. Why don't you say so? That's super. I know all about Christmas and have just the book for you. Christmas for village lovers. It's all spelled out, see? Step 1. Decorate the house. Step 2. Stockings to the fireplace. Step 3. The Christmas Feast. M-M-M-M-M-M-M. Step 4. To put the Christmas tree. Put the Christmas tree in our house? Yes. Anyways. Step 5. Telling the Christmas story. That's all the steps. I created the Christmas for my first family perfectly. See? So everything looks fine and they are cozy. Happy. Well out. Look. Long straight short. It's right here. It's no problem. Oh perfect. How ours is gonna be? What? Oh. Hey boys. Sorry about this commotion. But I just want to tell you that we are decorating the Christmas stuff. Want to help me? Of course, Tippy. Let's do this now. Everything looks so good. Oh. 
Nice job, honey. Well, I better tell work Gregory and three baby alive dolls a Christmas story. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring. What? Merry Christmas, guys. Our friends. We're here to celebrate your Christmas love. Okay, okay, thanks for the presents. Can you go home, please? And how can you celebrate Christmas with your family? Oh, what a nice surprise. Oh, yes. Okay. We were so in the invitations. Well, that was weird. Because Tippy just had a talk with Wirt until 7 p.m. And they are coming in right now. That's disgusting. Yeah, Beatrice. It is disgusting. Sweetheart. Ha ha ha. Best Christmas Day ever. Hey there my sweeties. Aw. Uh, would you like mommy to finish the story for you? Yeah? The children were nestled all snug in their beds. While visions of sugar plums, I mean. Sugar plums. Oh you were telling about the night before Christmas? That's the best Christmas story ever. And ever in the world. I Gregory. have my own one you three. Come Gregory. on. Let's get in the story. Gregory. Wait. I'm supposed to tell the Christmas story. Twas the night before Christmas. Then I was spending all the day. Finishing up. On my Christmas display, now missing all these well nothing but traffic. So just follow me. And I will show you the magic. Now out in the yard in Aberdale Elementary School. That will make your heart grow. With Gabby's Christmas list that she wants stuff for Christmas. And Percy with a Christmas book about Christmas. And Bella with jumping in prance. And out of the day, was three girls having a dance. And then when I see here, the Christmas parade was coming down the street. There when I see Ashley with her friends when they are sugar plum fairies and reindeer too. Then there was ribbing twirling snowman Hada and Brain, magical peacock Sammy and Lauren. And a dancing rose turkey Chelsea. And right where you think. When I just see in all, comes a huge waffle Santa. Was 30 feet tall. Or 50 feet tall was amazing. And the chorus. All sing their favorites. Gregory. Santa? Gregory. Santa. Gregory. Oh. Very clever, my little brother. Please allow us. Oh, Word and Sarah. It's not you two. My own gun will tell a very different tale of the Santa Nicholas. He's not made of waffles. The Santa was very suave. was nothing like that. The Santa I know was a hot, nutty cat. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his paws. And he's looked there heroic. Real Santa Claus. Red are his boots. And so is his cape. Alright! His sword is a cane that tastes like crab cake. 
We shamed ourselves. All right, everybody. If you leave now, you can beat the holiday traffic. I'll fall off the world of sunshine and lollipops. From where I came from, Christmas is a nightmare. Unk. Twas the night before Christmas in the pretty of size, where my boyfriend sat beside me with the bright Christmas lights. But all of the sudden, he tells me a ghost story. Sweetie, no. Until they got home, they looked at the car door handle, and they found... Oh! Ah! Andrew, get him! You really gave us a grace! Come on, dude. He is just teasing. Come give Anna a hug, would ya? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Well, baby. I couldn't stay mad at you. What was that? No, no, no. I'm not falling for that again. No, I mean, you're about to fall right now. Don't worry about your scary story, Anna. But Tippy has her own Christmas story. Watch. That was the night before Christmas. Not a swamp rat did creep as mother and babe played kazoo in their sleep. Now the sight of the house would make any ogre droop, for it was sickeningly sweet as unicorn poop. Yet who was invited to help this lost cause? The How's it going? He looked all around and scratched at his ear and said, and said, this place is worse than I thought. A uh, fear. So he grabbed up his belly and screwed up his face and let loose a <laughs> that transformed the place. With a gleam in his eye, his work here was done, and then to the babies he gave one by one a festering bottle of stinky swamp juice, and for mommy a kiss and a good Christmas goose. Oh. 420 20 minutes per pound. <laughs> then digging a finger inside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose, and I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Smelly Christmas to all! And to all, a gross night. Hey, look up there.